In the center of this banner is a portrait of the Marquis de Lafayette. He was a French aristocrat who came and served as a major general under George Washington in the Continental Army during the Revolution. In addition to advising Washington and fighting in several battles, he also went back to France in the middle of the war in order to try and get more support from that country to help the Americans during the conflict. You see at the bottom where it says Columbia's honored guest. Columbia refers to the figure here on the side, uh, which was a popular symbol of America and the colonies before that. An honored guest is here because Lafayette was invited back to the United States in 1824 and 1825 by President James Monroe. He made a tour through the United States at that time, and there were all kinds of celebrations, parades, dinners. Here in Philadelphia, this banner, which used to be larger, was carried in a parade that reportedly attracted 100,000 people and it was carried by the Vittlers of Philadelphia, as you can see at the top. They are butchers, it's another word for butchers, and they would supply the meat to Philadelphia residents and taverns and inns. And you can also see, it looks like the painter made a little bit of a mistake at the top. Uh, I can only hope that he charged a little less for that. He did sign it down at the bottom, John Woodside, 1824. And in addition to the American symbolism of Columbia and this angel with a the trumpet, there is also the liberty cap. And the liberty cap was a symbol of liberty and freedom that goes back to ancient Greek and Roman republics. It was a popular symbol during the American Revolution. And then it was also very popular during the French Revolution, making a tie between the American Revolution in America and Lafayette, who was from France.